Our exploration strategy is to look at the Atlantic margin and we're particularly focused at the moment on Northwest Africa. This is the area we think has been underexplored by the industry. We're going into new deep water terrains and primarily we think it's prospective for oil. The Atlantic margin is, um, is the breakup of a former supercontinent. It's a clear area of focus and, and that really is for several reasons and it offers all the geological processes and geological trapping styles and source rock potential that we look for in frontier areas to produce hydrocarbons. Geology exploration is very creative. We acquire geophysical data, uh, whether it's seismic data, gravity magnetic data. With that data we make uh, maps uh, in, in interpretations, but we bring geological insight to bear. That whole process can take a long time before you get to the phase that you want to drill. Obviously the drilling phase is the key phase. Um, we are looking for a clear answer, do we have hydrocarbons in the subsurface or not? If we're lucky enough to find hydrocarbons, then that takes us into a whole different direction and f more people are brought in, expertise in appraisal, eventually in, into development, uh, conceptualised development, full development and then production. We have an inventory of prospects. We try and look at the top 10% of those prospects at any one time. Within the company's portfolio, uh, we have two sets of opportunities. We've got the transformational uh, exploration opportunities and the exploration opportunities in more mature areas. What do I mean by that? Well, the transformational is the Atlantic margin. It's Senegal, Morocco, Ireland and Greenland. The more mature areas are the North Sea and the Norwegian continental shelf where by applying new creative um, thinking, new plays can still be found in, in, in older, maturer areas. Any one of our prospects were to come in, it would make a difference, a material difference to the company's share price.